These scriptures like a road map, picture perfect Kodak Alabama folding chair upside your head, whole lap Remember Moses and them two Egyptian soldiers, don't, don't let, let me go, go back. back Hats off, nations of kings and priests, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap You sure about that? That's right, God can choose who he wants to No matter how many ba 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 you say da 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 don't matter. God, whatever he say, can. Not what you say, not what your emotions feel. God said he hate people, and if you don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're not the children of God. That's, That's right. right. That's what God says. If you don't want to get mad, don't get mad at me. Take it up with God. That's right. Because I didn't say it. Y'all brothers over here come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Y'all from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Y'all lineage. What? Huh? God, read it again. Let's see what God says you didn't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's read it. Verse 7. Yeah. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Let's see what God says. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. He said you got to come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then you're going to be called. Go ahead. That is... They which are the children of the flesh. You didn't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're the children of the flesh. Let's see what God says. These are not the children of God. What did God say? These, These are, are not, not the children, children of God. God. What did God say? These, These are, are not the children, children of God. So if you don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Bible says you're not the children of God. That's right. If you're not on this sign right here, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians on this sign. These are the children of God. If you don't come on, if you're not on this sign, you're the children of the flesh. That means you're not the children of God, according to the Bible. You agree with the Bible, sir? You agree with it? So you're not the children of God, right? Right? You're not a child of God. That's what the Bible says. If you think you can come up and prove me wrong, come up. That's dialogue. That's dialogue. One scripture, prove me with one of your scriptures that you're a child of God. You can't do it. It ain't in there. Y'all not the children of God. Teach us. Y'all the slaves of the people of God. That's right. You're going to enslave y'all. You're going to put y'all in chains, bound y'all up, and make y'all be servitude. Teach us. Y'all going to work for the children of Israel. That's right. For that iniquity we, that y'all did to the children of Israel, man. Give me Luke chapter 21 and verse 21. 24. They think the Lord going to show mercy on them, man. Somebody give me Joel chapter 3. Got it. These other nations think they're going to get mercy from God. What they did to God, people, they're going to have to pay for that. That's right. No matter how much they want to go around and say, we, the children, we love God, we hold up all them damn signs you want to. God love everybody, ain't going to do nothing for you. Now, one thing for you, right? Go ahead and read that. Uh -huh. 24. 24. Right there. 21, 24. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 24. Look it up. All they shall fall by the edge of the sword, uh -huh. and shall be led away captive into all nations. What was the Israelites? Led away captive into, into all, all nations. nations. All nations out of hand in our captivity, man. You East Indians going to pay for what y'all did to the children of God, man. That's right. Y'all going to pay for what y'all did, man. Y'all ain't getting away. Right? Go to Joel 3 and start at verse. Come on up, bro. Come on up. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here. Go ahead, bro. The book of Joel, chapter 3, in verse 4. Uh -huh. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zadeh, uh -huh. and all the coast of Palestine? Mm -hmm. Will ye render a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? The Lord going to return their recompense on their own head. They're taking the children of Israel into slavery. That's oh, yeah. right. 
because ye have taken my silver uh -huh. and my gold uh -huh. and have carried into your temples uh -huh. my godly pleasant thing. Right. What's going on, Pastor? I mean, you all right? I mean, I mean, I mean, it's through the Pastor. Right here. It's good. Oh, okay. We just, what y'all teach? The Bible. That's the same thing you teach. Okay. What's your basic doctrine? The salvation is for Israel. Okay. According to what the Bible says. Which part? The whole Bible from the beginning to the end. Was Paul a Christian? Was he a Christian? Yeah. You want to go and see what Paul said? Yeah. Okay, go to Romans chapter 9. You believe everything Paul say, right? No, you said the whole Bible. Yeah, the whole Bible, yeah. We can go to whatever. We can go Old Testament, New Testament. Go ahead, brother. I know. We haven't got everything. Go ahead, read Paul from the top. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. So Paul ain't finna tell no lie. He's right. telling you what Christ said. Yeah. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. So yeah, the Holy Spirit on me. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For who? For my brethren. For his brethren. Right, go ahead. My kinsmen. His family. According right? to the flesh. According to the flesh, who are what? Who are Israelites. Who are what? Who are Israelites. So Paul had heavy concernness on his heart for his own people, the Israelites. Yep. Right? you agree with right. that? Yeah. Okay, let's go. To whom pertaineth the adoption? They belong, the adoption belong to Israel. Go ahead. And the glory. The glory belong to the Israelites. And the covenants. The covenant, old and new covenant, belong to the Israelites. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. The law was only given to the children of Israel. Yes. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. And the service of God. And the what? And the service of God. So the Israelites got the service of God too. Go ahead. And the promises. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Concerning the flesh that Christ came. Of Israel. Oh, yeah. Who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. Uh -huh. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. They are, are not all Israel that are from Israel. Because, you know, some Israelites, they take on Gentile custom. Okay. So... In the eyes of God, when they living like Gentiles, they're not Israel. They're Gent Gentiles according to the Bible, right? Okay, okay. okay. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they come from the seed of Abraham. Because Abraham brought many nations, right? Yep. He brought uh, Esau, Ismail, yeah, different nations. Moab, right? Go ahead. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. So just because they was born through Abraham's seed, are they all true? What do you mean by true? God's true. Go ahead. But in Isaac. But in who? But in Isaac. But in Isaac's seed, right? His truth and his family. Go ahead. Shall they thy seed be called? So Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that seed was called through God. Sure. Right? Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. They that are the children of the flesh. Go ahead. These are not the children of God. What that mean? They're not the flesh, they're not of God. Who is the children of the flesh? He just said, if you didn't come from Abraham, seed, Isaac, and Jacob, if you didn't come from that seed, you what? You're not the children of God. That's what he just said. Go ahead. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. The children of the promise are counted from the seed. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Mm -hmm. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born. So God said these children ain't even born yet, and he already made up his mind. Go ahead. Neither having done any good or evil. These children did no good or no evil. Go ahead. That the purpose of God according to election might stand. Whatever God says is going to stand. No matter what nobody says. Go ahead. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Uh -huh. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. So this is going into Esau and Jacob. Right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. As it is written, uh -huh. Jacob have I loved. God says, Jacob have thee loved in Malachi, right? Chapter 1. Go ahead. But Esau have I hated. You know Esau is a nation of people, right? According to Malachi chapter 1, right? 
That's a whole nation, a race of people. God hate a whole race of people. Right? That's what it says. Why are you laughing? That's what he said. Go ahead. What shall we say then? What you gonna say then? Because you laugh. Is there unrighteousness with God? That unrighteousness with God because you hate a whole nation of people? Let's see what the Bible says. God, God forbid. forbid. What that mean? That mean no. No matter what you say, laugh, you giggle, whatever. No. So whatever God says, don't stand. God didn't say that. He didn't say that. He said if you didn't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're not the children of God. That's what he just said. Read it from read it from that part. Can you read a verse for us? Hold on, hold on. We're gonna finish this and I'll read it. Promise I'll read your verse. I just want to read it to her. But she said everybody is children of God. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Neither because they're the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. But in Isaac shall my seed be called. Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. If you didn't come from that lineage, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you the children of the flesh. Go ahead. These are not the children of God. They what? These are not the children of God. They what? These are not the children of God. Hey, don't get mad at me, get mad at God. Now, go back to where you did. Mercy, I don't know. Mercy, I don't know. I can read that. Let's see what God said. Verse 15. For he said to Moses, what God say? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. God said, I can choose who I want to. Go ahead. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Uh -huh. So then it is not of him that willeth, uh -huh. nor of him that runneth, uh -huh. but of God that showeth mercy. Uh -huh. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's it on that. You can go further, but we're not right there. Go ahead and read your scripture. So what, hold on, before you read that, what is your take with Paul just said? Because if you go to Paul and you just contradict what he just said, Paul just said, if you didn't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, these are not the children of God. So if you go to a scripture where Paul saying they are, that means the Bible, got, it can't contradict. You know, so, well, hold on there. Right? So does the Bible contradict? No, it don't. It don't. It don't. So does Paul say in Romans... In Galatians, in Ephesians, who are we talking to in Romans and Galatians? Does it matter? Yes, it does. Why does that matter? Because you got to know who is this audience that who you're speaking to. So then, is what's written to Romans just for the Roman audience? No. It's for the Israelite audience. Okay. And I can prove it to you. Okay. So then, what's applicable to the Israelite is not applicable to the Ephesians? I can prove to you that no, the Ephesians what I'm is, are Israelite. No. All these books that Paul wrote to. These are scattered Israelites in those places. Okay. That's who we write those letters to. He's not writing these letters to Gentiles. Okay. Why do we know that? The, I'm, I'll prove it to you. Go to Corinthians. Uh, before we go there, okay. what does Romans 11 say? Let's stay within so, the so same you're book. You're talking it's about the grafting in, right? How can somebody be grafting into something that they never was a part of? That's what grafting in means. That's exactly what grafting in means. Grafting means when you're grafting something in, you're adding something that was no, 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 no. No, right? You're why is Paul? Why is Paul saying I am a apostle for the Gentiles? You said the Gentiles. The Gentiles are scattered Israelites that are in Gentile state of mind. Those are Israelites. Okay. So before we read on, what's your message to us? How do we become part of you? It all depends on if you're on this side or not. So if we're not part of that tribe, because not everybody who's born of that tribe, like you said, is going to be in that tribe. They're not children of God because they've adopted Gentile practices. Right. So Correct. you have excluded even the people that came well, out of those some tribes. Of, a third of them. Two thirds of them. Okay. Because the Bible said two thirds of the Israelites would not make it. Only a one third of them will make it. So not all Israelites are not going to make it. Okay. But they will be regenerated in the kingdom. Read that. This is in the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 26. Well, you just quoted. And so all Israel what, shall be hold saved. On, hold on. What, what's the topic of this thing? The whole moral, all that stuff till you get to 26, what did Paul say? I'll tell you what it says. I'll tell you oh, what it says. Verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Mm -hmm. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Mm -hmm. 
and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. From who? From Jacob. That whole thing for Rick and Rick is talking about the Israelites. Absolutely. Because so they you, fell away, and now they coming back in. They grabbed it back into Israel. Oh, Israelites Ezekiel rejected Christ. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 15, they explain. Read it. So Israelites reject Christ, and then they grabbed it back in. They grabbed it back in. Why According they, to Ezekiel 37, and verse 15. Okay. So this is where the Bible is taken out of context. In chapter 10, Paul says, I came from this background. I know what my forefathers did. They rejected the Messiah. But Levin is saying, but that's not the end of their story. Christ is going to bring them into the revelation of who he is. But before that, and after that, and every other book, Paul says, every person that wants to follow Christ because of his grace, Hold on. When through did he faith. Say that? Huh? When did he say that? In when did he say everyone that wants to? Okay, let's let's look at what Jesus said. It, let's go to Romans one and chapter. Let, let's let's, just let's see who he talked to. Let's see the context of Romans one. And give me uh Psalm chapter fifty verse five. And give me Psalm chapter one fourteen verse fourteen. Let's see who is Paul talking to because you're gonna say he the context. You got to read it in context. Who is Paul talking to in Romans chapter one? Read. This is the book of Romans yeah, chapter yeah, one and five. verse seven. To all that be in Rome. All the people that's in Rome, go ahead. Beloved of God. Did Paul have Roman citizenship? And he was an Israelite, right? From the tribe of Benjamin. Right? To all that lived in Rome, go ahead. Beloved of God, uh -huh. called to be saints. Called to be what? Called to be, be saints. saints. Now let's see who are the saints. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Gather my saints. God said, gather my saints. Go ahead. Together uh -huh. unto me. Uh -huh. Those that have made a covenant with me uh -huh. by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? In the Old Testament? Who made a covenant with God by sacrifice? No, you're talking about context. So let's stick with context. Yeah, yeah. Who in Ezekiel is he writing to? That's not Ezekiel. That's in the book of Psalms. That's a book of Psalms. Who is he writing to? He called in the okay. Israelite saint. Okay. Outside of the Bible, they never called any other nation saint. Now the book of Psalms, chapter 148, 14. Yeah, go ahead. This is the book of Psalms. 148 and 14. Uh -huh. He also exalted the horn of his people, uh -huh. the praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Go ahead. Go over there, Even of the children of Israel. Even who? Even of the children of Israel, let's go. Even of the children of Israel, a people. Hey, give me, give me Proverbs chapter twenty. You wind up, it's already time. It's gonna get dark for you. Money, money, come. Got it. I, 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 we're gonna be praying for you guys because I hope you guys can see the full gospel. We got the truth. We got the one hundred percent truth. You're so far from the truth. You don't have the truth. So far from the truth. Why y'all running? Y'all running? Wait, no, we gotta go because we realize you're not here for discussion. Let's take this down. Let's do this. You're not here for discussion. Write down my number. And we'll come to your church and we'll nope. sit down no, no. and have a time. Not or y'all will come to our church. Don't no, you're not open-minded. I am open-minded. If you not. can show, show me in the Bible, I'm open-minded. If, if, so how do we, how, if I'm not part of these races, how do I get salvation? You can. Then what's the point of coming out here and saying you're yeah, it's, it's already decided. decided. It's already decided. No, it's not. It's only for y'all. So the Christ said, go out to the, and, and go to the lost sheep. In faith, you will be saved. Hey, go to that end, chapter wrong. 2, verse 21. That's a simple gospel. Because she got Acts chapter 2, verse 21 on that. Let's read what it says. Let's read it in context. Why is Romans 1, 16, to the who? Just read Romans is to the Israelites. It was written to the Israelites. It says, he does not discriminate against Jews or Gentiles. The book of Acts chapter 2 in verse 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. Whosoever shall call on the name whosoever. of the Lord. Whosoever. What does that word mean? We about to read it. Shall be saved. Who? Who? Ye men of Israel. Who? Ye, Ye men, men of Israel. Who with the contact? Ye, Ye men, men of Israel. Israel. What? Hear Who? these words. Who? Ye no, men of Israel, hear these words. Who is the Greek? Brother, you can have 12 amplifiers and read that verse. Now, Israel I hope you find Christ. That's all I can say. Bro, they don't worship Hinduism. No, people don't. Eddie, that's Eddie, what they do. Eddie, 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 Eddie. I'm a third generation free and preacher. Eddie, 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 I've seen, Eddie, I've known. Let's see who all the Gentiles are in the Bible. I'm going to read it to you. Go to Corinthians chapter 12. Thank you, thank you so much. First Corinthians 12, everyone. Let's see who are the Gentiles. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 1. Who are the Gentiles in the Bible? Now concerning spiritual gifts. Let's see who they are. Brethren. Brethren. I would not have you ignorant. Uh -huh. You know, you that, know. that ye were Gentiles. You what? 
Ye were Gentiles. Ye were Gentiles. Go ahead. Carried away unto these dumb idols. How can you used to be a Gentile? Why are you out here? Why I'm out here to tell you you going into slavery. That's right. You going to be my slave. I'm going to put chains on you. That's right. Round you up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you into slavery. You going to be my slave. You going to be my slave. Yes, sir. Palestine, bro. That's right. 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 That's why I'm out here to tell you you going into chains. That's why I'm out here. You not escaping your judgment, man. You see how these heathens, they think they know the Bible. Who the Gentile? Y'all can't, y'all can't touch us, man. Teach up. We the children of the promise, man. That's right. Y'all think y'all gonna come out here and tell us who are the Gentiles? Give me that in Ephesians, man. The people from another nation. <laughs> y'all know what I want. Ephesians what? The uh, people from uh, another nation. Nine and eleven or something. Y'all know what I you want. You That he said you used to be Gentile. Go back to First Corinthians. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Why I'm out here, I'm telling you, you're going in the chains. That's why I'm out here. I'm giving you your judgment. Right? Go ahead, read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Let's see who are these Corinthians. Moreover, brethren, uh -huh. I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. And all passed through the sea. All of our fathers was under the cloud. We passed through the sea. Who was our? Who, who was the ones went through the sea with Moses? What was the race of people? The Israelites, right? Okay. So amen. Okay, all right, brother. <laughs> These dudes can't deal, man. They get cut up quick. Quick. Let's go back to read that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and verse 17. This, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as the Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Right, we walk like the Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened. Right. Being alienated, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance of that that is in them. Right, jump to, uh, I think it might be 11. It might be 2 and 11. Ephesians 2 and 11. Uh, yeah, go ahead, 2 and 11. The book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Wherefore, remember mm -hmm. that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. We what? It being in time past Gentiles, Gentiles in, in the, the flesh. flesh. Were Gentiles, past time. You used to be. Go ahead. Who are called uncircumcision mm -hmm. by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Right. That at that time ye were without Christ, mm -hmm. being aliens. We were alienated from our, uh, from our customs, man, and who we are. Go ahead. Being aliens from the commonwealth uh -huh. of Israel uh -huh. and strangers from the covenants of promise. Right. Ooh, that's a cut. And it's kind of crazy because these damn... They can't come out of Paul. Everybody come up here. What did Paul say? What did Corinthians say? What did Ephesians say? What did Galatians say? What did Christ say? They neglect what Christ said to say what this Paul said. Well, we agree with what Paul said, but we're not going to take Paul writing over what Christ said. We're not. We're not. We're not. God don't change. Give me um, um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. Ecclesi read Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 14. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 14. I know that whatsoever God doeth, whatever God do, right, it shall be forever. If God say something, that he love his people Forever, man. He That's ain't right. never changing his mind. If he says salvation is for my people, he's not changing his mind. Go ahead. Nothing can be put to it. Nothing can be put to it. And that's what Christians do. They add their words or their feelings into the scripture. That guy tried to say something about Romans 11. That's what grabbed him in. How can you grab in something that was never part of there? That is like taking the damn apple branch and, and, and putting tie another branch on there that don't belong. That was never part of it.
But if you got broken off and we put you back in, we grafted you back <laughs> on there. That's it. Go ahead. Nor anything taken from it. And God doth it that men should fear before him. That men shall fear before us. God ain't changing his mind. That's right. With that, we're going to say Shalom. 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 Uh, hello, my name is Andrew, and I am an Indian, and I just heard you um, guys talking, and I'm just wondering if I can still be saved because I'm Indian. Um, Indian as in, like, South Asia. Thank you. These are the two names of the Father and the Son and the Holy Scriptures.